Hey guys, it's Humanoid Zeno889. Ah, shit, pick up my door. Let's try that again, shall we? Hey guys, <laughs> it's Humanoid Zeno889. Today I'm going to start my s review series of all the stuff I got um, from you guys donating to me or just wanting to give me something. But, um,. Yeah, everything on me right now, the vest, magazines, holster, pistol, helmet, goggles, everything on me except for my shoes, clothes, and underwear and short. Everything else, like anything that's not usually on me, you guys gave to me, so. And I got a lot. Like, holy crap. And I still got more coming, apparently. I never expected this. But, uh, I'm going to do my best, and I am going to review as much as I, well, not as much as I can in one video, but I'm going to review a select few for this one video. Looks like they let the dogs in. Um, yeah. Starting off, I'm going to start off simple with the goggles. Uh, these are just simple shooting goggles uh from Cabela's uh came with came with uh came with this and if you want to somehow tie it or something I don't fucking know but it also came with these ear shooting earplugs they're not normal orange earplugs they're actually quite more they're a lot more squishy and they're a lot more dense so up next, we got the helmet. Um, this is actually this is an actual U.S. helmet. Um, I have my contacts in, by the way, so I can actually put this shit on properly. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually this was actually used. I believe um, it's got some padding. Um, padding. I said that twice. <laughs> it's just your standard military helmet. Um, way too big for my head, but... Hey, it's Airsoft. It's not even getting shot at with real bullets. But then again, Airsoft is dangerous. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get shot by Airsoft, which... I mean, I do, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to get hit by it. I mean, although I already have with my friend Cameron, or Foxboy2626, go check out his channel, um, he's a great friend of mine, he convinced, he didn't really convince me, but he's been with me for many years now, I've known him, he's a great friend, go check him out, he deserves, he don't, he deserves a lot more love than he's getting right now, he's, might seem a bit odd at first, yeah, but, why do you think I'm here? <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Um, next up, oh, we got the vest. This is an actual um, police Kevlar vest that has been, not has been used, but uh, I mean, I don't know if it's been used. Um, now, I got a lot of letters. Um, letter with the helmet, letter with uh, the holster, this, the vest. I lost all those. I have the letters in, in a giant box. Um, I got some of them lying around here somewhere, I, I, I bet, and, yeah, um, next, uh, this, I assume this is where the walkie-talkie would go, you can go, hey, we got a problem, <laughs> I'm such a child, you know, I look like a fucking military wannabe, to be honest, but I like it. I look like some 12 year old that wants to actually be in the military or something. It's funny, but I like it. Um, up next we got magazine holder. Um, this one, this one only holds two mags, but uh, um, I, don't, I have three mags for this. Uh, here's one of them. Here's a second, and the third one is already in the mag well. Of this, we'll get to this next. Um, yeah, 
Um, I wish, um, this is just clipped on, this is wrapped there on my belt, just, it ain't gone anywhere, it's a little floppy, but then again, everything really is when you have this much shit on, so, <laughs> But yeah, get the job done. Uh, the mag, the pistol magazine can hold from a nine mil to, a, I believe, a ten mil or even a forty-five ACP. The assault mag well, not mag well. Uh, assault magazine holder can hold from this, um, from a five-five-six to a seven-six-two by by fifty-four, I believe. Um, um, up next we got the holster itself. Very nice. Very. Comfortable drop leg holster. Uh, let's just say that this, this is what I used to use. Uh, I clip, I clip this. I wrap it underneath my belt, clip it in, and I take this strap and just wrap it around my leg like an actual holster. But uh, this is plastic. This, as you can see. I have hot glued the shit out of this thing just to keep it functional. I'm gonna even check if. Oh. Yeah, it'll fit. A little wobbly, but. Much before this one here. Um, this is probably gonna go into garbage now since I have no need for it anymore. Just fucking toss it. <laughs> There's like a lot of my other stuff. Oh, granted, I won't never toss any of this. Helmet and the vest, maybe, but not this. That'll. Uh, AN or AK-74. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'll get to that later, actually. Um, so... Next up... Oh, wait. I said I was gonna get to the pistol. Um, this was custom-made for me. Custom paint job. The only paint job like this in the world. Um, because it's obviously custom. I mean, yeah, there's similar paint jobs, but obviously there's nothing exactly like this in the exact same spots, but... Yeah, it's a Glock 34, um, gas blowback airsoft, um, oh shit, there's a BB in the chamber, good thing there's no gas, need to get that out real quick, um, I'm just gonna grab one of these, and I drop it, shit. There we go. BB's out. Oh, we're still reviewing this. Um, so... The guy that reached out to me... The guy that reached out to me, um... That actually let all this happen... Um... Quite simple takedown, actually, too. I'll give you a look at the internals. Recoil spring right there. Um, well, I mean, it will be the recoil spring. Yeah. Quite stiff, actually. Um, that's where the gas goes in, right at the tip of my thumb. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a very nice pistol. Um, you can, you know, this entire magazine is just filled with airsoft, except for the mag, except for the mag well right there for the BBs. Um, uh, you, I believe you can use either CO2 or greenhouse gas. It does not take CO2 cartridges. I already checked. Um, uh, if I unscrew that screw right there. Um, this, it comes up with a, excuse me, sorry, gas, um, bubble gasket, or bubble O-wing, then the tower, this entire section comes with a giant freaking O-wing, so, it just does not take a, this one does not take a, uh, CO2 cartridge, I have one lying around here somewhere, I don't know where it went though. I threw it away already. Um, yeah. This is a very, very nice pistol. Feels like the real thing. Extremely realistic. Gas blowback, everything, and... 
Now, I will do some tactical and empty VLOADs with these, with this and this and all that. And, um, one of my personal favorites, the gloves. Um, uh, now I got small hands, so these would, these are large gloves. I think it'd be a little better if I had, like, medium gloves or something. But, I mean, they fit, yeah. They're just a tad bit big, but I'm pretty sure I'll go into them. Um, one of my, one of the reason why I like these gloves is simply because of the letters on the knuckles. <laughs> um, I mean, I absolutely love the letters on them. It's funny. It fits me. And, uh, yeah. Got love hell with a little grenade uh, for the O. And hate. Got love and hate here, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, gonna see if I can... I mean, I hate wearing gloves. I really do. I hate walking with them. I hate using them. I just hate them. But uh, when it comes to safety, I'm, I should probably wear these when I go to an airsoft wall. Also, the watch is not what you gave me. I bought my dad got me the watch, so I've had that. Um, next up, we got a knife. Very sharp knife, in fact. Uh, no idea who it's. I, I forget who it's from because I lost a ladle. Um, this is what the cover of the box looks like. Don't know what company that is, but it is a very, very sharp knife. I mean, I could shave with this shit. It's that sharp. I don't know what kind of steel it is. I assume it's stainless, but I mean, it looks like stainless, but uh, all it said, the only thing it says on the blade, ex aside from that, that's just a little logo, is 154CM. I have no idea what that means, but this, I can guarantee you this, whoever you are, this will be my everyday carry knife. Very nice knife. Um, I have other knives. Um, someone actually handcrafted me it. Well, he didn't handcraft it for me, but I'll just bring it out. Um, this knife right here. Uh, it is a, it is made from a, from, from an extremely high carbon steel. Um, it, this thing is handcrafted. The entire thing. And it's just... It's insane, the details on it. I mean... I mean, this is sharp, too. Not as sharp as this knife here. But it still gets the job done. You're gonna slash with it, you're gonna cut something, so... I'm gonna... Yeah, I mean, I'll use it. But I'm not gonna use it very often, to be honest. But this is a very nice knife. I, I read your letter, whoever gave me this knife. I read it. I don't remember who sent it. I lost a lot of letters going through all the crap I did. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have them around here somewhere, as I said, but... Um, yeah. Um, someone even went as far to get me a Leatherman. <laughs> very, very nice. Plows, multi-tool. Um... Has a Phillips and flat... Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Has a little... Knife for sonic wood right there. And an actual knife. And surprisingly, this knife on this Leatherman is sharper than this. Like, I can dry shave with this shit. I mean, hold. I don't think. I can't dry shave with this, but this one, I can. This thing is sharp. Also comes with, like, a one inch me uh, little ruler, bottle opener, and a file, something, and something else. Um, and this little. Circle. I don't know what the circle is for, but this thing is very nice. Very, very nice. Um, uh, I'm gonna put the box over here on my bed with everything else. Um, someone gave me this real sight. I mean, it goes on any kind of... Fuck, not how much. Goes on any kind of Picatinny rail, really. But, 
I literally have no idea why they gave me a real sight, but not the front sight. I don't know. Um, I don't, if there's a story behind this, I wouldn't know it. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that's basically it for this thing. I don't, I mean, a letter came with it. Again, I lost it. <laughs> I'm terrible with letters, guys. I'm sorry. I really am. I did, every letter I saw, I did read, um, my helmet's crooked. There we go. But then again, I'm crooked. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and then, we got this thing. This thing's got some weight to it. I'm not sure if it's an AK-74 and AN-90 AN something or AN something. I have no idea. This thing is real sheet metal. The real deal. Um, obviously, I mean, not the real deal, really. It's not chambered in fucking 7.62 or something, but... Again, gas power. Um, just like the pistol. You Just like the pistol, you fill it up with some greenhouse or CO2. Now, I'm probably not going to use greenhouse gas, that it is flammable. Um, and with all the metal on this thing... What the hell? That should not be happening. Well, no, I guess it should, because it, the hammer goes back, but it just doesn't load around, so... Because basically all of this is, is this, in the wheel thing, is blocking it from being able to load around. It's not necessarily blocking the hammer from going back and locking back, but, uh, yeah. Um, let me take my gloves off real quick. I hate, I hate gloves. Um, I even know how to field strip this thing. Just push this little button here. Take the dust cover off. Just to stamp sheet metal. This thing. It's real metal. It is real stamp sheet metal. Take the weed core spring out. Now, obviously, this weed core spring isn't anywhere near as powerful as an as a wheel. As the real thing, but, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. I wonder. I just realized something. Oops. Um, so, this is just a little plastic piece. Um, probably to keep the bolt from reciprocating too far back. But, uh, oh yeah, it is definitely made for reciprocating too far back, but, I mean, I wouldn't doubt this thing is actually made from a real AK just converted to Airsoft. I would, I really wouldn't doubt it. Here's the, uh, here's the, uh, bolt and gas, t and gas piston. Um... Give you a look at the internals here. Um, right here. See the internals? Um, not much. Well, I mean, there's a lot to it, but for an AK, eh, I don't know what the fuck's what. I just know that I just know how to field strip this thing really. I'm probably, I'm gonna see if I can't possibly. No, the spring won't even let me. Um, so this is, goes in here, prevents it from going back too far. Put the dust cover back on. And I assume you want me to do some reloads. Oh, also, this is not the grip that came with this. Um, this one is I. Um, this is the original grip that came with it. I hate this grip. Absolutely hate it. Extremely on un uh, extremely uncomfortable. Can't even get a good grip on a thing. But this this grip, it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more wieldy. But then again, things quite fun heavy. But then again. 
I can only imagine why most of the metal and shit's up here, or most of it at least. You can even adjust the sights too, which I think is kind of cool. Not that I need to, I can just predict. Um, now there is one thing that I will show, but I will not do it. Um, you can swap out this with this, although I'm not going to, as that is technically illegal. Not going there. Um, yeah. Also comes with the um, side, the side mounting top wheel, just like the real thing. You slide it on, put it on, put anything from a red dot, a cog, PKA, anything you want really. Um, however, I'm gonna keep it off for now. And uh, let's get to the reloading, shall we? Um, I'm gonna do the pistol first, see what I can do with it. Um, Yeah. New do tactical. Go. I'm still used. I'm still getting used to this setup, so don't expect me to be too quick on this one. But new do tactical. Shit. God. Also, one thing about this vest, um, it's kind of hard to, it kind of restricts you from properly. I mean, you can push through it, but the fact that it's so stiff is kind of restricting the aiming down the sights thing. But I'm going to do one more, one more attack. Watch battle. I'm going to do an empty. There we go. Um, that's the Glock 34. Um, now for the AK. I mean, please, for the love of God, I don't want to keep calling it an AK if it's not an AK. If it's an AN, please. For the love of God, let me know, because I have no idea. I know it's not an AK-47, because these magazines, they're not carved enough. Um, these are more of an AK-74 or AN type magazine. Not so much an AK-47 mag. They're not carved enough, they're not as much of a banana mag. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try a tactical. I have very small hands, so can't really grab two of these at once very easily. So try again. Gonna do several times, several types of empty. didn't catch back for some reason. Gonna do another type. And then one that's actually pretty small. Yeah. Let's try that sit last one again. I'm probably not going to do that type of reload very often, but uh Yeah. This thing is really fun to reload. I don't know what I don't know what about the AK that makes it so fun. I'm not sure if it's the magazine, the magazine style or what, but it is a fun gun to just mess around with. But uh, one more time. Yeah. 
Here we go. And that does it for this first episode of reviewing the shit you guys gave me. <laughs> We're not saying it the stuff you gave me is shit, but uh, there's a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out my TikTok, uh, Human Rights Union 889, no capitals on the TikTok. I mean, obviously, you probably, I mean, the reason why you're on my YouTube is probably because of my TikTok, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Um, say hi to FoxBoy2626, um, uh, capital F, capital B on YouTube. He does a lot of Rocket League, a lot of video game stuff, a lot of live streams. So, go check him out, give him some love. Great friend of mine. He deserves a lot more than than what he's getting, because he's had a rough life, that's all I'm going to say, but go give him some love. I will see you guys, Xeno High, on the battlefield. <laughs> see you later.